Hi everyone. Um, Lolo. Well, first, I apologize for my screen. Just got out of bed. Technically, I'm still in bed. But, I just woke up. <laughs> um, how do you feel your blowout? I know you go, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you, take it out and let it heal. Play your ear string, blah blah blah. I, for one, say, fuck that. Because I did not waste all these years of my life stretching my ears to let them shrink because one little thing goes wrong, or there's one little tear, and blah blah blah. Okay. So, if you get a blowout, what you need to do to heal it, and Trust me, it's happened to me before. Not blow out quite to do a bad stretch. Like you stretch wrong and you just completely like blow your ear to shit. I mean like everyone with, with bigger stretched ears would know like shit happens sometimes. You know, you you sleep on it wrong, you wake up, it's all swollen and fussy and weird shapes, like, you know what I'm talking about. Um, now as opposed to taking that out and letting all the hard work that you put into stretching your ears just go right down the toilet. Um, you hear those people up there walking around? Um, You need to get in the shower. And you need to take it out. Um, soap and water the plug. Obviously. Like, whatever. Sanitize it, you know. Um, soap and water your ear. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt really bad. And you're going to want to stop, but don't stop. It doesn't hurt nearly as bad as it did when you were still at small sizes using paper stretching me. It's not going to hurt that bad. It's just going to be really, really, really sore. Because it's kind of like an open wound. So, clean it, put it back in, do that, and then after you clean it and put it back in, get out of the shower, you just dry it off with a towel with the plug in it. Just make sure you dry like around it so there's not like water buildup in, in between the ear and the uh, plug, but you need to put it back in when it's still wet and rinse it off. Um, oh, sorry, I something there. Um, after, after, uh, after you dry it off, don't touch it. Do not touch, um, just don't touch your ear at all. Because that's going to make it worse. That's going to burst in um, I forgot to say after after you put the plug back in when you're in the shower, take whatever side is blown out, um, whether it's coming out of the front or the back of it, and like tuck it under. Like I don't know if you know what I mean, but like if say there was a blowout back here, and I don't even know if you can see a plug because the plug is same color as my skin, but you just take the blowout and tuck it in, like back under. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying, but you should be able to. It's not that hard to concept. I mean, grasp that concept. But I'm thinking, um, so you do that and then you don't touch it. Don't touch it at all. And then the next day, you do the same thing in the shower. And then every time you shower until it heals, I promise you it takes like two and a half days and it's going to be gone. So, that was that. <laughs> um, it's kind of that simple. Uh, don't put new jewelry in it until it heals. Just heal it with whatever, and then you can change it, do whatever you want. But until it heals, just keep with the washing and the putting back in and the tucking and at, at the top three days. Not even that long. I've done it like once sometimes. And then the swelling goes down completely and it just feels like by the next day. So, um, yeah, that was that.